Hi everyone. In this video, I will be reading The Room is Mine, a story about sharing. This is my room, said Chris. That was what she always said when she was angry with her sister Mary. It's my room too, said Mary. This is my bed, said Chris. Chris thumped hard on the bed. This is my pillow and my elephant. This is my rug. It's my rug too, said Mary. Part of it is mine. Chris had an idea. She found her jump rope and laid it on the floor, right down the middle of the bedroom. Everything on this side of the rope is mine, she said. The bed is mine, and the window is mine, and the game box is mine, and half of the closet is mine. Okay, Mary replied. Everything on this side is mine. The bookshelf is mine, and the laundry bag is mine, and half the closet is mine, and the door is mine. Chris put her toes close to the rope. She put her doll's toes close to the rope. Mary stood on the other side. They were so close that their noses almost touched. Don't breathe my air, said Chris. I'm breathing my air, said Mary. Mother came by and peeked in the door. Anybody in there want milk and cookies, she asked. I do, Mary shouted. She ran out into the hall. I do, called Chris. She started for the door and then stopped. The door was on Mary's side of the rope. I don't, said Chris. She went back and sat on her bed with her doll in her lap. When her mother came by after a few minutes, she was still sitting there. Mary's eating cookies in the kitchen, Mother said. Don't you want some? I can't, Chris replied. This is my side of the room. She can't walk on this side, and I can't walk on hers. Mother looked at the rope on the floor. Oh, she said. I'm going to stay right here forever and ever, said Chris. I'm going to live right here. I'm going to grow up here and never go out until I am an old, old lady. I see, said Mother. Well, I'll stop in to visit sometime. Chris thought about what it was going to be like to stay on her side of the room forever and ever. She would have her very own Christmas tree on the game box. She would have her very own horse on the rug. All her children would live there with her and never step over the rope. And when company came, she would pull them up through the window in a basket. Mary came in. She stood with her toes touching the rope. I'm going to play, I'm going to the playground, she said. We're going to jump rope. Do you want to come? No, said Chris. I'm going to stay right here forever and ever. You can be first jumper if you let us use your rope, said Mary. You can use my door to go out. Chris wondered what to do. All of a sudden, she didn't feel angry anymore. She wanted to jump rope. Usually, the older girls wouldn't let her jump because she was just learning. She looked at the closet door and she remembered a way people sometimes get out of places. I know what I'll do, she said. I'll go downstairs in the elevator. She opened the closet door and stepped inside. Going down, she said. I want to take a ride in the elevator too, said Mary. Chris gave the door a push so that it would was open on Mary's side of the rope. Step inside and face the front, Chris said. Going down? What floor is the playground on, Mary asked. First floor, out the door. Chris giggled. She stepped back into the bedroom and picked up the rope. I thought you were going to stay on your side of the room forever and ever, said Mother, as they ran into the living room. It got too crowded, said Chris. I'd rather jump rope. And she and Mary ran outside. The end. Thank you for watching.